Hey, what's up guys? Scott here, back with another video. First one I've done in quite a while. And, um, um, uh, today I'm going to talk about, talking about, uh, DC, a couple of DC things. Um, okay, first of all, the Flash final season, season 9, has been really good so far. I really enjoyed the opening arc, which is Red Death as the villain. Um, and the actual arc was called Ro Rogue War. Um, but it had Red Death as the main villain. And I really thought it was solid. It was cool to see Batwoman back, uh, even if it was kind of brief. But it was cool to see her again and uh, kind of keeping that Arrowverse connection going. And uh, I thought it was a really strong, uh, solid start to the final season. Um, but the, art, the thing I'm really looking forward to is the final arc, which is going to have... Um, oh, and this video will contain major spoilers for... Uh, the Flash season nine final arc and the movie Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So, if you don't if you don't want to major spoilers for both of those things, click away now. So, uh, anyway, so the um, the the Flash's final arc of this of the season and the whole series will be. I'll have Cobalt Blue as the main villain, a villain that me and a lot of other fans have wanted to see on the show for a long time. So, um, I can't wait for that. And some set photos came out of the finale, actually, which showed Cobalt Blue in his full suit, and the suit looks super comic accurate. Cannot wait to see it on the TV fully. And then, but the thing is, it's not just him in the finale as the main villain. We have several other returning villains for the final arc and at least the series finale. So, so the villains that were seen on set for the series finale were Cobalt Blue, Reverse Flash, uh, Zoom, God's Godspeed, and Savitar. Savitar, uh, to all all of them speedster villains. And we don't know if Call Up Blue is going to be a speedster or not. So, but um, but the majority, of, I mean, they're all pretty much speedster villains. So, and they've all appeared in previous seasons of The Flash, and I can't wait to see them all coming back together to team up. And the scene that they were shooting had them all lined up against Team Flash. So, oh, this finale is going to be epic. And I can't wait to see how it's going to play out. Okay. So, yeah, we got that going. Now for the movie side of things, we got something I got uh, for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Um, so, there's leaks out there that I found. And I've been able to corroborate with different sources on these leaks. And what I'm about to say, it doesn't spoil the entire movie. But it was it will spoil the, the basic setup for the plot of the movie in detail. So, okay. So essentially, you have Black Ma Black Manta, who uh, was a side villain in the first Aquaman movie, and he he you know in the credit scene he was kind of set up to be the main villain of the sequel, which in a way he is, but um, essentially in the Aquaman Lost Kingdom, uh, Black Manta gets a hold of this magic trident, and this trident houses the spirit of the king, the evil king of the Lost Kingdom. Hence the title of the movie. The Lost Kingdom of of uh, Necris, and uh, so in the first Aquaman movie, it made references to like the Seven Kingdoms, and then you had the one Lost Kingdom, and that last Lost Kingdom is revealed going to be revealed to be called uh, Necris. So this trident houses the spirit of the King of Necris, and he kind of possesses or at least uh, brainwashes Black Manta, and it's kind of vague on exactly what happens, but. Essentially, Black Manta gets corrupted by this king's spirit, and the spirit, well, one, it gives him like more, it gives him like powers and stuff, and then it influences him, influences him to find the lost kingdom to release the other spirits so they can escape and take over the world, basically. So, and um, but to do that, he needs royal blood. So, um, and then also in the movie, Aquaman and Mira will have a son. And Black Manta, uh, through the possession, under the influence of this evil spirit, will kidnap the son in order to use his blood to unlock the Lost Kingdom. So, since Mira is um, out of commission from giving childbirth, she's not really in any condition to go fight. So Aquaman ends up recruiting recruiting Orm, his half-brother, who was the main villain in the first movie, to help him go and rescue the uh, son from Black Manta. And that is essentially the setup of the movie. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff going. And then also in this leak, I read that Amber Heard Mira has twenty 
20 to 25 minutes of screen time, which is pretty cool. So, uh, I mean, like, at least they're not cutting her out of the movie completely. In fact, I've read, like, you can't cut her out of the movie because she's so pivotal to the plot, even though she's not in the movie very much. But 20 to 25 minutes, that's still a pretty good chunk of screen time. I mean, that's no cameo. I mean, that's still a pretty good chunk of screen time. So, um, anyway, that's what I know about Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So, both of these sound really cool. And so on the Star Wars front, we got the Mandalorian season three going right now, which is going doing great. And uh, yeah, so anyway, super excited that for that, and uh, can't wait to see the other stuff coming out this year. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll keep you updated. And peace out.